Why are stock levers the best? This is definitely a subjective opinion, but if you take a look around at a lot of pros bikes, a lot of pros are running stock levers. I just feel as though it's almost like when I tell people not to mess with the chassis and the ergonomics of the bike, it's designed that way for a reason. There's something about the stock levers that just feels so nice. And personally, I've never had an aftermarket lever that feels quite as good. Comment below, absolutely comment below. Let me know your favorite aftermarket levers. I'd love to give them a try. I've ridden with a lot of them because I steal people's bikes constantly. And yeah, I always crave getting back to a stock lever. And I just think it's something about the bend and the feel. I don't know, again, personal preference, but if you do take a look at other people's uh, pros bikes, you'll see a lot of stock levers, surprisingly, on pros bikes. As long as those bad boys are in, there was one year in Supercross where my levers were way too far out. And I t every time I tipped over, I was snapping a lever. And it was like the theme of the first part of my season. And finally, we just moved the levers in a little bit <laughs> and the issues stopped. So that's kind of silly. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.